Okay, this will be an interesting one. Right. Come on, Conniger. So we're going to make this. This one, I think, will have to be a 400% or even bigger than that. We can't go any bigger. We have to make a master copy. So I'm going to try and make this look really nice. Uh, I think we're going to keep that in the middle. Oops, I didn't show this on camera properly. Sorry, folks. Sometimes my camera work does leave little to be desired. It's really I'm hard on myself when it comes to doing things right, or what I consider right. Bit of a perfectionist, folks. Uh, I know nothing's perfect in this world, but I still get like that. Anyway, we're photocopying this label. If I can get it to sit flat on the copier, on the platen. So we're just going to just try and get this to sit flat in the right place. It's not easy, folks. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Okay, let's see how that looks. Well, it looks out of position. It looks like it's not quite at the edge and it's still not big enough, but we can still work on it. We want the, I think the flag is what, not the flag, the kite is what I want to concentrate on. So we're going to throw this in the recycle and remove the label for the rubbish. And we're just going to concentrate, I think, on the kite. We're going to try and put the kite as the central theme of the image. So we're just going to take a bit of a guesstimate. Sorry folks. I'm just going to put it on copied paper. Now we're just going to line it up, try and focus on the kite, on the beautiful image of the kite. If I can just make a rough guesstimate as to where I put it. It's not an easy thing to do, trying to make a guesstimate. So now we're going to uh, going to go take a guess at 200%. I hope this turns up well. I just find I get slack trying to get a bit fussed with how to position it. I try to work with intuition, folks. I find intuition works well, but sometimes I have to feel it. I have to temper it with, with yeah, logic as well. But anyway, that, that looks quite nice. Uh, Pity we've still got the the writing there, but I guess we can't get rid of it. And we're going to enlarge it more. I'm wondering if we're going to just enlarge it horizontally. So we're just going to take the horizontal and we're going to make it uh, 250. Now that's the vertical. We don't want that. We want the vertical. Actually, uh, wondering if maybe that that worked out well. So I'm going to make it 250 both ways. Let's see how that works. Sometimes mistakes or errors are not always the end of the world or a problem. Sometimes they lead to good results. I've heard of a lot of photocopier artists who've said that or at least a couple that I've read about who said that sometimes accidents are really good and there we have it. We have an accident that worked out well. So now we've got pretty much what we want and that is the kite. Now I'm going to... Now I'm going to maybe uh, try and work out what's going to be the centre of the job. I think that's going to be the centre. I'm not sure whether we're going to get too perfectionistic and get rid of what's left there, but apart from that, that looks really good. So maybe the vertical we can add. We're not. We're just going with intuition here. My intuition is telling me that we're not going to get perfect with it. Because sometimes when we get aimed for too close to perfection, we get shit. It doesn't work anymore. So it's nice to know when to... 
uh, call it quits when it comes to trying to be perfectionistic. Uh, and that's it's challenging. But I found a lot of accidents really work well in this artistic medium that I do. So it does. It's amazing what you get sometimes when you just let intuition take control or it takes control forcibly. And it's not always easy to let it happen. Sometimes I do create... I usually do create demos that don't always work but that again I'm not I'm just a human being I'm not perfect this is not utopia we're not living in a land of perfection our world is very imperfect and and in many ways our world is so imperfect it's vile and to live in this world you know you've got to accept even at the best of times there's going to be some imperfection in, in life you can't have we're not living in utopia or the afterlife uh, whatever you want to call it uh, we're not living there yet so we have to just live the lives that we're been given and use our talents and our skills productively but now that looks really nice I think now we can call this demo quits 